Well, we just came back with talking about one of the most handsome men in the league, followed by one of the most handsome coaches in the league, followed by one of the most <laughs> handsome fullbacks in the league. The and now we're just going to get into one of the ugliest squads available. The Seattle Seahawks, just a bunch of smug dudes over Forgot there. about John Lynch. They got a ha- oh, handsome, handsome uh, GM. GM. Mm. Yeah. If yeah. you're joining us on YouTube, we just talked about the 49ers on the last clip. Go check it's that out. a bunch out. of good-looking dudes over if, there. Uh, over on the Seahawks, there's just a bunch of Adderall-popping, <laughs> gum-chewing fanatics. This is coming from the 49ers fan. Just Pete hating Carroll on the Seahawks. gets three gum chomps in per second. But a solid gum chomp per second average. I don't love the Seahawks, but I do like a lot of their players. I'll give Doug Baldwin all his due. I liked old P. Rich. P. Give me Rich. some Tyler Lockett down at 195 bunch of value over there everyone's been hating just like we've been saying you know just a guy if he comes back and plays two good games everyone's gonna be like oh i love tyler lockett i gotta get him on my team I knew he was you, good. Can, you can flip him quick at 195 give me tyler lockett <laughs> and then we're gonna get some chris carson <laughs> chris carson at 149 are you kidding me it's <laughs> <laughs> a little ridiculous it, it is it, a little ridiculous it plays it plays I mean, the dude showed me a lot. I meant the ADP, not the oh, Jerry well, Seinfeld. Both are ridiculous. I love Jerry Seinfeld. Also, if you haven't checked out Comedians in Car Drinking Coffee or Getting Coffee, whatever it's called, please check that out. That is fantastic. <laughs> it is good stuff. <laughs> um, but back to Chris Carson. At 149, this is a ridiculous ADP to me. I don't even understand it. Can't um, understand you. He showed me a lot with an offensive line that was just awful. And, I mean... <laughs> He was really that was really like kind of the always the focus of the conversation and it was for the wrong reason because they're just terrible. Um, but you know, the old finger in the dike with Dwayne Brown there was was a nice move for them. Hopefully uh he'll they'll they'll pick up some more pieces around him and Chris Carson will be even better. But what you saw from Chris Carson, even with a garbage offensive line, was just explosiveness, tenacity, and the dude can catch balls. And I mean, he can catch. Yeah, I saw it, everything I wanted to see from him in that short amount of games before he went down and it was everything that I thought I saw on tape coming in and it was just fantastic for all the hate I gave the Texans for letting go of Dwayne Brown like good on the Seahawks for stepping up seeing something like that seeing seeing a a team in desperation to at least get something from a guy who's not even playing and they grab a anchor left tackle and they couldn't have needed it worse so good for the Seahawks for picking him up and I completely agree with you, Casey. Chris Carson looked absolutely great last year behind a horrible offensive line. And I recently saw him get traded for a fourth rounder in the FFPC. Like, oh, what? that made me absolutely sick. How in the world How did you, you not, not Why give, didn't you send that to me? Why didn't you give me a shout out? You want to give me a couple miles? I'll take a couple. So Chris, me, Cor- Chris Carson. A fourth rounder? Are you kidding me? 149. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. How can you be playing for money and trade him for a fourth rounder? It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, you guys you got, watch the games, especially the guys you got on your team. This guy had an offen- terrible offensive line and just ran with authority. Yeah. like Well, he's a little bit upright. Boom, shaka lock. <laughs> he's a bit upright. Yeah, stiff hips, runs upright. He's a bit good as well. What was I his call. yards per carry 4.0 or higher? I don't know. But really who's he got to compete with? I don't have that information. Other than my boy CJ Proseis, which we're about to talk oh, Mike about. Mike Davis. Too. Mike Davis. It might they got to be bringing somebody Mike else. Mike Davis is a Gamecock, and I like him a lot, but he is not as good as Chris Carson. Chris Carson's better than Alex Collins, right? They cut Alex Collins. <laughs> well, Something, there was, was a, a disconnect boo-boo. there. That was a boo-boo. Somebody blew it. Somebody <laughs> did blow it. But at Chris Carson with 149, now now they probably will bring in some competition. over. Like Eddie Lacy was your competition. You Oh, told you it? to stay away from him. Piss poor decision by them. Um, at least he maintained his weight claws. <laughs> Oh, do we not like Eddie Lacy weight jokes? Not good anymore. Well, no, I laughed. That was okay. good. Well, I, to, to to be completely correct about it, I told you to st- to dump him two years ago. Told you to stay away mm. from him, and then last year on cheap money, I said buy him for real cheap because you can't get any lower than this. And I was wrong. It <laughs> meh, got we got a little lower than that. The bottom's falling out. Well, I mean, Jordan Howard, the bottom's falling out of him because he's Eddie Lacy and Jeremy Hill all wrapped up into one guy. In in the Just weight, kidding. Love, in the closet. Love you, love you Jared. In the clause's defense, uh, it muscle weighs a lot more than fat does, so maybe that was how what Eddie <laughs> Eddie was like, wait, I could beat this clause. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to lose some muscle. <laughs> I just go lay on the couch and lose some weight. I'm going to not work out. I know. I got it. I'm cutting working out out. 
<laughs> All right. So, so back to the guys that are still playing football. So Chris Carson. Send us your fat Eddie jokes, please, here at the FF. They're not uh, funny we'll anymore. Listen, on. the fat Eddie jokes need to stop. It's not funny anymore. Well, it's, okay? it's hilarious. It is. Fat it's funny because it's fat. Yeah, I'm fat. It's hilarious. <laughs> so Chris Carson not at me, 149. For you. <laughs> and then CJ Proceis, who obviously has had tons of hype. And he's had some games where he showed out, but it's never really panned out. The porcelain he's been doll. injury. The porcelain doll, as Jason likes to call him. I think you they, said that. They I think finally, that. they finally shut him down at the end of the season. Hopefully, he can get right. But I love this combination of CJ Proseis at two oh nine and Chris Carson at one forty nine. It's just super cheap. And maybe nothing will come of it, but I, I liked what I saw from Chris Carson and the games where CJ Proseis gets in there and is healthy and can do his thing. I've loved everything I've seen from him. And this just seems like a nice little tandem that you can grab for nothing. It's peanuts. Peanuts. I love I love that. When you brought that up, I was like, that is a spectacular idea. You can grab Chris Carson in the 13th round, and then you can come back around 17 or 18 and grab CJ Proceis? Are you kidding me? Obviously, I was I was all on CJ Proceis and Oh, me too. I'm a huge C- CJ Proceis. When some Wait. of the best college highlight tape there's out that is out there. And there's some of the best rookie NFL tape there is out there for his couple of minutes when he was shining there when he was breaking off this that Patriots game. He crushed it. He absolutely crushed Watch it. Watch the Patriots game. He looked pretty good. Yeah, and, and and you know, you can say all you want to about me yelling about CJ Proceis, but the biggest names in the industry followed my coattails talking about this dude looks like Arian Foster. So I don't want to hear it. 17th round coming back around next year. If this dude hits the field and he's healthy, he could help you win your league for 17th round pick. And he's going to be on every single my. Oh, I, I absolutely. May, I may Him only, do, Chris Carson I may only sure. do two startups this year because I'm getting a little deep in the dynasty leagues and I got a lot going on. But in the two that I do, I'm getting CJ Proceis. And the ones that I've already existing, the game, the, the leagues where I don't own him, I'll be going in at, going out looking for to buy him at a 17th round value. There's leagues you don't own him in? Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Well, he was very popular. He was hard to pick up. Yeah, it was like <laughs> in the, last year, like the 10th round, he was really popping off just as a guy who... Why wouldn't he? Yeah, it didn't work out, of course. He got hurt, obviously, but... I mean, you had to live through Keenan Allen getting hurt for a couple of years. It could happen. Oh, I Somebody, still love the athletic profile of this guy and what he can do on the field. Dude, when C.J. Proceis hits the field again healthy, he's going to be awesome. And this year, the thing is, you get him in the 17th round, so if he, ever, if he never plays again, who cares? Who gives a shit? Who cares? But if he does play. Gold jacket, green jacket, who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> he may not ever play again, but if he does, you better hope he's on your team for a 17th round pick because we told you. Yeah, I, I'm 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 in love with this. I with like this that's combo. a strong combo. I love this combo of players combo here player. at 150, 149, and 209 all day long. So here, that's your that's your solid running back depth to get, get taking a good home run cut at the very end of the league. dynasty startup here. You could grab you a couple of good running backs early, paste you a bunch of wide receivers on your team. Grab you a couple rookie running backs on the way out, and then at the very last way on the way out the door, you're like, "Hey, I got Chris Carson and CJ Proceis. Peace, deuces. I'm out." 